My name is Mark Noseworthy, and I'm the executive producer on Destiny the Taken King. Quel est votre travail jour après jour sur Destiny? Um, Day in, day out, my job is about getting the game to ship on time at a high degree of quality and to make sure that it's fun. Um, you know, uh, our creative director has the vision for the game. You know, what is the game about? And uh, my responsibility is having a vision for how we're going to build it, how we're going to organize ourselves, um, and uh, how we're going to make sure we can make this as good as we can. And uh, that involves day to day, you know, getting people to talk getting people to make decisions and getting people to uh, understand what they need to do today to make the game better. Combien de gens travaillent sur Destiny et n'est-ce pas difficile de les faire tous travailler dans le même sens? We have about 500 plus people working on Destiny in various capacities, whether they're testers or engineers, designers, producers like myself, people working on the, the web team that they build uh, BungieNet. Um, and uh, yeah, it is, it is absolutely a challenge getting this number of people to all work together on the same thing. Um, but you know, we try to make the team and the game feel smaller by not having 500 people all work on one problem, but to divide up the problems into different areas, like multiplayer. We have a team of 50 to 60 people who are focused just on making multiplayer an awesome experience. Then we also have a team of people working on the raid. And they come up with the idea, they build it, they make it, they test it, and they release it. And so that's one of the ways we make it not, uh, not feel so uh, daunting and, and reduce the coordination challenges uh, across the team. Ça fait un an que le jeu est sorti. Vous lancez une nouvelle extension. Qu'est-ce qui a été le plus difficile à faire Parce que j'imagine que vous aviez plein d'idées. Et comment arriver à se limiter Est-ce que ça a été difficile de choisir et de, de créer cette nouvelle extension I did understand the question. I did. Uh, you know, we realized what, what, was the hard, what were the hardest choices to make over this last year with make, building this expansion. Um, I'm just thinking about my answer. I think the hardest thing in um, building the Taking King this year was trying to strike a good balance between building uh, new con just brand new content, new experiences that uh, you know our most engaged players would love, but also making the game uh, accessible and still a good entry point for brand new players. And uh, I hope, I believe that we've done a pretty good job with that. You know, we have a, a, a brand new campaign that I think both new players and existing players alike are going to enjoy. But we still, you know, we were able to build a lot of endgame content, a lot of missions that take place after the story, uh, a brand new raid and new patrols, new strikes that engaged players are really, really going to enjoy. But hopefully, we've, if we've done our jobs right, that those new players can also transition from you know, the original Destiny content into the Taken King, and they, they too can become endgame players. Pouvez-vous nous parler rapidement des nouveautés fortes de cette nouvelle extension? Sure. The, 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 Taken King, the Taken King comes with a brand new campaign, a new story that has you know, rich cinematics, and it is about the Taken King. His name is Oryx and he is an ancient hive lord who's come to the system with a single goal in mind and that's revenge for the death of his son Crota. And so in addition to that new campaign there are three brand new subclasses the Sunbreaker, the Night Stalker, and the Stormcaller. We also have a host of new strikes, new patrols, and a brand new raid for players to enjoy. N'est-ce pas plus qu'une extension, ne serait-ce pas un Destiny 2.0? Yeah, we, we definitely see this as the start of, the, of year two of Destiny. Um, we are trying to really move forward the entire universe of the game, both uh, you know, thematically and fictionally, but also in terms of the content that's available. We have lots for new players to do. Um, and uh, yeah, and it really, uh, it, 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 it's much more than just an expansion. J'ai lu, pardon, vous aviez jusqu'à plus de 20 millions de joueurs. Est-ce que vous n'avez pas peur de cette communauté Est-ce que vous n'avez pas peur que s'il y a quelque chose que, qui ne leur plaît pas, ça fasse beaucoup de monde euh, pour réagir Non, nous avons une really vibrante, et active, passionate, opinionated community. Et c'est uh, vraiment la vie de ce que est Destiny. Sans ces fans, sans them caring so much, nous um, n'aurions rien à faire. Et donc, nous devons vraiment tout à eux. Et le fait que 
care so much that they uh, they want the game to be better really inspires us and drives us to, to make more content, to make the game better, to add new things. And we're constantly looking online and, and listening to players and playing the game ourselves. Like we don't, you know, we're not just developers of the game, we're also participants in the community. And we're always looking at how we can make it better. And that pressure of all those people wanting the game to be better for the millions of people playing Destiny, uh, it's a strong motiv motivator for us. Um, it makes our jobs hard and difficult, but it's also what makes our work worthwhile. Le lancement de Destiny a été un succès, il n'y a eu aucun problème réseau majeur. Pensez-vous arriver au même résultat avec la nouvelle extension We're always a bit nervous uh, when we have a major event in the community that it's going to go off correctly, that, that the technical side of things, the servers are going to hold up, that the, the gameplay experience is going to be what we anticipated it to be. Um, but the teams worked really hard um, you know, before Destiny's launch and throughout then to really keep the uptime as uh, frequent as possible. And we're, we're hopeful that um, we've done it right again this time. And we, we want to make sure that um, uh, when people buy the game and they come home and they put their code in and they play, that it works. And so, um, yeah, uh, I can't, you know, I, I would say I would knock on wood to make sure that, um, um, make sure that we're lucky. And, and uh, but um, we're very hopeful that uh, things are going to continue to be smooth sailing. Quand Destiny a été lancé, vous avez dit qu'il était parti pour 10 ans. Est-ce que vous êtes prêt pour les 9 prochaines années, là, maintenant Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, we've talked a lot about that. 10-year plan, and, and it's really about a 10-year partnership with, with, with Activision, with our publisher. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we, we love playing Destiny, and uh, we love making Destiny. And so there's lots of new things that we want to do. There's places that we want to go. And uh, I'm, uh, me and the team and other people at Bungie here, we're really excited to see, like, where's Destiny going to be in four or five years? Like, we've supported this game unlike any game we have before in the past. And uh, if you just look at where Destiny was when it launched and how we improved it throughout the year and what we're doing with the Taken King now, and the, like you said, this is the first of 10 years, um, it's amazing to think about where we're going to be in the future. Pourquoi proposer des extensions plutôt que finalement faire un Destiny 2 Pourquoi avoir fait ce choix dès le départ de le faire évoluer plutôt que euh, bah, faire comme euh, les autres, Call of Duty, etc., faire une version chaque année well, you know, Destiny only shipped a year ago, and it was a game that took years, and it was years and years in the making. And, uh, you know, we wanted to provide a, you know, a, a, a significant enhancement to the original and a bunch of content as quickly as we could after we shipped Destiny. And, uh, and so we felt the year was about the right time to release our first major expansion. And, uh, you know, we, uh, that's just, we didn't want people to wait. You know, our fans want the content. They want the new experiences. They want the new story. They want the new strikes. They want the new raid. Um, and so we felt the right thing to do was to, to give them what they wanted. Tekken King arrive avec une nouvelle façon de jouer. Est-ce que les nouveaux joueurs ne risquent-ils pas d'être dépaysés? Est-ce qu'ils pourront quand même profiter de la première version de, de Destiny avant de passer à la nouvelle? Ou est-ce que leur, leur personnage commencera directement avec le nouveau, la, les nouveaux pouvoirs? Well, new players who start playing Destiny this fall have two options. They can start playing at level one and play through all the year one Destiny content. That's the original Destiny, the Dark Below, and the House of Wolves. And when they get through that content, they'll be ready to play the Taken King. And when they play that, those missions, those activities, those strikes, those raids, they can access, they can earn all the same uh, rewards that uh, uh, players did in the first year. The other way that they can start playing is they can choose to immediately start playing the Taken King by um, using an item that we call a Spark of Light. And this item can be consumed on one of your characters and raises that character's level to 25, outfits them with gear and weapons they need to start playing the Taken King almost right away. And so, you know, that's suggested for more advanced players, people who've played a lot of shooters before, people who are very comfortable jumping in and, uh, you know, getting their feet wet. Pouvez-vous, en moins d'une minute, essayer de convaincre les lecteurs qui vous regardent là qu'il faut absolument acheter cette extension et même Destiny tout court 
Destiny the Taken King comes out this fall and it's the perfect time for new players to jump on board and it's also the best time for players to come back to the franchise and start experiencing everything that we've built with this major expansion to the Destiny universe. The Taken King comes with it a brand new campaign centered around Oryx, the Taken King, who's come back to our system with a single goal in mind, and that is to get revenge at the death of his, at, on the, is to get revenge for the death of his son, Crota. Furthermore, the Taken King comes with in, in, in enhancements and improvements to the Destiny experience across the board, including brand new strikes, new patrols, a brand new destination in the Dreadnought, as well as a, a new six-player raid.